I'm about four and a half hours in and I cut off little tidbits there where you can see the can you see the smoke rain. And before we start I want to give a shout out to Larry. He sent me a couple of these cool projects with Cubs and Jordan and um, bulls and so forth. So I'm gonna throw them up on the screen over here. Let's go ahead and start now doing the Americana stuff over here. A bunch of free wood from a neighbor. Some really nice stun and groove boards. A bunch of these are brand new and then he had a couple of already colored and stained on one side. And I just needed some more to make some more maps, so hell yeah, anybody needs a map? The basic $60-$70 projector over here, somewhere it's got an HDMI port right there. You can stencil yourself a couple maps real quick. I just banged together some ton and groove wood I had laying around. So the trick here is just to wiggle the jigsaw as you cut the sides. This way it kind of has like a random rustic pattern to it. For some reason my jigsaw is cutting at an angle today too. That blade is just going. Sometimes the blades go weirdly. Alright, we got ourselves a brisket and we got ourselves a rump roast. Never cooked this before in a smoker. I cooked this once. This is the second half, so we're gonna start it and see how it goes. I don't know if it'll come out good or not, but we'll give it a shot. Fingers crossed. Halfway through, so now we know where the bottom is and the top. We can put some supports on the back before finishing the cut, so this way this thing won't fall apart. I mean, we can pre-glue the, all these boards first, but I don't really care to use the glue too much, to be honest with you, and it takes time to set, so I'll just rather set these up and drill them in and go beep, 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 beep. Go. so it's all cut out I got these connected with just little scraps of quarter inch I got like a random piece laying around so easier probably and cheaper would be to glue it than to waste screws but it's just how I like to build stuff these are cut so that there's the spacer when you're hanging it up and then I'll put at the very end once everything is done we'll put a little hanger on the back the one part I want to show you so whenever you have like tight corners you can overcut them a bit and then I'll just come in here and cut it so it doesn't look like so sharp here and then and then and then the bit where we started we're just gonna go and run the jigsaw a little bit wider out because nobody can really tell where you're kind of at and then if somebody can actually measure and be like oh the coast of Washington or whatever the state will be Oregon will be a little bit off and it's not right you know one of those kind of people in your life so more thing too before I forget so whenever you're doing like this kind of wiggly squiggly stuff. You don't really need to be that precise about it. All I do is sometimes I just kind of jerk the jigsaw to the side a little bit, sometimes it's a little bit more smooth. So whenever I do like the cuts on the side, just kind of wobble it randomly. Don't go like, because then it'll be obvious. But then if you just kind of wiggle, 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 and it'll come out pretty good, which is what I actually got to do next, is to do the get rid of the even side on the back. And so we can see my squiggly squiggly pattern, this map. Let's see what awaits us. Still around it, but 275. That definitely needs some charcoal. Man, it's looking pretty good. This looks really good. So I probably should read some instructions how to cook a brisket when do I should I wrap it and whatnot, but I want this bark to be darker, so we're gonna leave it smoking here a little bit longer. Next step is real easy, we just get some backing plywood and we're gonna trace the outside of this so we can cut out the backing plate for it. Pretty easy. That's how it comes out. We'll paint this black and this is ready to be burned. The best part, haven't burned anything in like three months. This step isn't strictly essential, but I would call it necessary because it's $30 for the blowtorch and it's magic. Uh, that's probably my favorite part of most of my woodwork and it's burning the wood so let's put it on a tripod and fire it up. You get to see the flames but in the afternoon in bright sun not really. I'm 
about four and a half hours in and I cut off little tidbits there where you can see the can you see the smoke rain. There we go. So we're gonna see if these are che chewy or not, but they're gonna be all right. I'm not sure which one it is. I think it's brisket. Yeah, it's definitely true. Oh, tastes amazing though. I like that kind of stuff. And I think this one is the, no, this is brisket. Maybe this is brisket, I don't know. Mm. I mean, it's true, but I like this kind of stuff. Cause I can't eat like a human garbage disposal right away. Mm. Stay in these bad boys. And before I forget, so I did spray them black from all the sides. From the back side, you can see the overspray. This way, it just looks better when you hang it on the wall. All right, so I've been meaning to whitewash something for a little while. I mixed four ounces of white paint with two ounces of water and mixed it in pretty well. So we're gonna try it over there. I don't know if it'll work. I didn't read instructions or nothing like that, but let's see how hard can it be. And I didn't want to stain this one on purpose. I'm just curious to see how it'll come out. If it's just, we use white one. And this one I might keep for myself because I need a piece of doodle in one of my rooms. Well, I'm quite happy with the white washing. It looks really good, like from far away, it looks quite white. But you can still see all the wood grain nicely. But the gray stain, I mean, you can hardly see it at all. I'm just having no, no luck with the gray stain, so let's see what we got here. I got like this very fine wood stain, whatever, that's weathered gray, and it's absolute junk, it covers even worse. But, and then I have this one that's white tint base, and this one actually covers quite well, but it says junk on it, but because that thing is, instead of being gray, you can see it's kind of grayish. Once you paint it, it's actually purple. So the best I've been able to find is this thing. But it's still crap too, like it just doesn't do it. And unfortunately I can't find any more of the gray stain that I initially used. And it was just some random $5 mixed stain that Sherwin Williams just happened to have and I just picked it up out of curiosity for five bucks. But I might just try to lightly brush the chalkboard paint gray over this once this dries up a bit more and then see how that comes out. We just tape off the little corner where we want the blue to be. I made this most excellent cover out of some, whatever it's called. And we're just gonna spray it real quick. Coat, I didn't even bother taping it off on this. I just held it down, sprayed it. That's all we need, let it dry. All right, so the next one, we're gonna unscrew these brackets from the USA map make a, out of a wire and some D-rings, make a wire hanger thingy for the back and then we'll take our background, slap it on here. The only thing to remember is when you're switching it, it's from bigger screws, you gotta use slightly smaller ones because otherwise you'll forget and just run it all the way through. This spacer that I use is thicker. I mean, if you use quarter inch spacer, then it won't matter, but mine is half inch and then we transition out to quarter inch so that won't work. So we want to make sure that we switch to smaller screws. Let's do the shadows behind the stars. I taped it off a bit. We'll just spray it lightly. Let's see how it came out. Need to extend this stencil a little bit this way and do a couple more stars. It'll be cheating, but it'll look more proper. So we'll do that. Now we'll do the second layer, light coat of silver paint. Oops, 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 oops. There we go. Yep. That slight shadow just makes all the difference and we'll scratch it up at the very, very end, so. As soon as you have these stars on, it's really cool. And it's just a stencil. You can buy a, a pack of the stencil like that for like, I don't know, 10 bucks or something like that. Both maps taped off. Dog is helping me out. So let's go spray this real lightly. Part right here, let's reveal this. Slap it over here. Just go one. Oh no.
Before I reveal the whole thing in the end, everything's put together, I just want to show one issue with the tunnel groove is that you might end up cutting through and having like these leftover bits that you can really easily spray through. So what you gotta do is just, you know, brush it by hand. Just dip it a little bit in there. And then same thing kind of on the end. There's a little bit of that groove left. So I'm gonna go ahead and just quickly dab it in and then we'll reveal it the way over there. Beautiful day. So here we go, it's all finished. Came out pretty good. So we can doodle on the writings because it's chalkboard. This chalkboard paint came out really good, so I'm not gonna bother staining it anymore. Next time I'll just go ahead and paint them. And you can still see like the wood texture coming through. So I really like it. I used, I was figuring out what to decorate it with. It's an old picture of me. It's an old picture of me in Russia with a bucket. Me eating a six pound steak challenge that I did in 06. Let's see how big that thing is. And I still, I'm still the champ over there. Vault boy just for scale. But the idea is that you can stick the pictures behind there and make it a picture frame. And then we got the best American president. We got ourselves some Ben Franklin. We got ourselves Abe Lincoln and George Washington. The other couple I just, I'm not that familiar with. That's it. Out of just a few couple of boards, we can make a couple of these. You can quite easily just stencil the same technique we used on the stars. You can do the black outline here. And I already have a video of that before for some flags. And then once you have the black, you just shift it over a little bit, spray it in gold. And then you have a really cool Marine Corps flag or a Navy one. This one was for a friend, so I already obviously have both of those. But that's a really easy project that either makes for cool gifts if you want to sell them. Quite easy to do. And great success. I'll see you next time. Sack, what do you think? Same as always.